What's up, Carptastic ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode in this BTC GO series. Today, it's time for Meta Monday, and you might be thinking, huh? It's Tuesday, he didn't upload this on Monday, and that's right, because I was sick yesterday, I'm still sick actually, so I decided to move the recording from yesterday to today. But since I'm still sick, since I'm still coughing, you might hear some audio cuts at some point. Uh, where I took a little bit of the recording out because I was coughing and it's not very nice hearing me cough in your ears, is it now? So that being said, in Meta Monday we take a look at a competitive deck from the past or the present in a Pokemon TCG Online Meta and today's deck is based around Sableye and Garbodor. As always, if you want to skip the deck analysis, just click the annotation on the top left of the screen and it will take you straight to the battles. Be warned though, the battles, they might be pretty long, I haven't recorded them yet, but they might be pretty long because typically the matchups with Sableye Garbodor are pretty drawn out and that's because with the Junk Hunt here for a Darkness Energy, we get to put two item cards from our discard pile into our hand, but we don't do any damage, which means that in order to win, we have to deck out our opponent, that's the only way we can win the matchup in the PTCGO, that's by decking out our opponent or by making our opponent concede out of frustration that's another way I guess another way I guess as well so junk hunt will be the main the main attack that we will be focusing on uh, the reason why you might be wondering why are we focusing on junk hunt what's so good about junk hunt we'll get back to that a little bit later we run four copies of Sableye we run six darkness energies for the Sableye and then we run a two one line of Trubbish Garbodor Garbodor is used for shutting off all abilities in play uh, as long as the Garbodor here has a floatstone attached. And I said all abilities except for Garbotoxin, of course, which shuts off the abilities of the Pokemon in play. And that's basically it. So the combination Garbodor Sableye is what this deck focuses on. We run one Shaman for draw support and one Jirachi EX uh, for draw support with Stellar Guidance. This Jirachi allows us to get a supporter in our hands, which we could then use to draw cards or for example, discard energies. Now, what's the main strategy with this deck? Well, the main strategy is denying our opponent the use of his resources or powering up his Pokemon even. And actually, if we can discard the resources before they are put into play, for example, with the Trick Shovel, look at the top card of either player's deck. You may discard that card or return it to the top of the deck. So using this Trick Shovel, we can discard my opponent's cards from the deck before he can use them. Uh, for example, with the Crushing Hammers, which we do run four copies of, we can discard energies that my opponent put into play onto his Pokemon. Of course, we have to flip a coin, and that's the downside of the Crushing Hammer. We also have Team Flag runs for discarding guaranteed an energy to the opponent's active Pokemon. And then, as well as here, the Zero Sick, if my opponent plays special energies or tools, uh, uh, tools as well, we can discard the tools. And we can use the Headringers, two of those in the deck, to stall my opponent. That means if we Headringer my opponent's EXs, he or she will need one more energy attachment in order to be able to use the active Pokemon's attacks. But the question here is, all of these resources in our deck to discard or to deny my opponent using his own resources are limited and that's where the Junk Hunt comes in. Put two item cards from your discard pile into your hand. For, so if we, with the Junk Hunt we can get back Crushing Hammers, we can get back Trick Shovels into our hand, but we can't get back the supporters nor uh, can we get back stadiums, for example? Uh, we could get back uh, supporters by using the Junk Hunt for a VS Seeker, and then with the VS Seeker, we could get a supporter from our discard pile. But the main synergy here for Sableye uh, is with Puzzle of Time. By getting back two Puzzles of Time in your hands, you can then play these puzzles if you play two cards. Put two cards from your discard pile in your, into your hand. So you can then use these puzzles to get back any card from your discard pile into your hand. And that's why Sableye uh, is pretty powerful at the moment, the combination of Sableye and Puzzle of Time. So you Junk Hunt for two puzzles and then you use the puzzles to get back anything from your discard pile that you want. Uh, any, any disruption cards, any 
any um, stadiums. We run a Silent Lab, for example, and Aqua Secret Base to increase my opponent's retreat cost. Maybe a Lysander, for example, to Lysander out a heavy Pokemon for my opponent and stall uh, so that we can start using Trick Shovels with the Junk Hunts. Uh, so all of that is possible thanks to the combination of Junk Hunt and Puzzle of Time. One of the main uses uh, for Junk Hunt and Puzzle of Time is, however, with Live Do. With Live Do, uh, this Live Do here is an Ace Pack card. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out, your opponent takes one fewer prize card. That means if the Live Do is attached to Sableye and Sableye is knocked out, our opponent takes zero prize cards. Bupkis, our opponent cannot take a prize, uh, which is excellent. And in combination with Puzzle of Time, that means we can continuously recycle the live duo. Uh, just imagine, we have a Sableye in the active spot, we have a Sableye on the bench, we have Darkness Energy attached to both Sableye, and a Sableye in the active spot has a live duo on it. Uh, okay, so we use a Junk Hunt. Uh, we Junk Hunt for two Puzzles of Time, and then we pass the turn to my opponent. My opponent knocks out the Sableye in the active spot, which means the Sableye as well as the Life do get discarded, as well as, of course, the energy. And then it gets back to our turn, then we use, oops, uh, we use the Puzzle of Time, we get back a Life do, and whatever else we want, maybe a Level Ball to get out the Sableye. We put that Sableye on our bench and we attach the Life Dew to the Sableye that we promoted into the active spot. And just like that, we have recycled the Life Dew. And when our opponent knocks out our Sableye again, we just get it back again because we junk hunted for, yes indeed, the Puzzles of Time, which allow us to get back that Life Dew. And that is one of the main strategies with this deck. But instead of me sitting here and talking about it, why uh, not show you? So I will call it the end of the deck analysis here. I know we skipped a couple of cards in this deck analysis, like the Delinquent, the Getsis. Um, but I think the best way to understand how this deck works and to understand uh, how powerful this deck can be is by showing you in some uh, matchups. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel for more competitive deck ideas, for more silly deck ideas and for more fun deck ideas. Uh, I will see you in the battles. And so our journey begins for a win in the Versus Ladder. We are facing Pro XDE with a Darkness deck, I think. Um, yeah, didn't really see. Uh, Let's see uh, what it is exactly, because depending on what my opponent is playing, we might uh, have to adapt our strategy. If my opponent doesn't play any Pokemon with abilities, there is no point getting out the Garbodor, for example. Uh, so we could then discard the Garbodor without worrying. If my opponent does play abilities like the Zoroark, uh, it would be pretty interesting to get out the Garbodor. Uh, if my opponent plays tons of energies, it wouldn't be really interesting to try and discard them all. That would be really tough, so we might just best go for the Live Do uh, cycle then. Try and keep Live Do's attached to our Sableyes. Do we start off with a Sableye? We do start off with a Sableye. Uh, we don't have an energy, unfortunately, but we have the Battle Compressor for Battle Compressing. Uh, two puzzles of time and a live do then we can junk hunt for the live do for example because drawing into the live do uh, requires some luck with this deck since there is only one live do and it might actually be prized who knows there is the attachment to the evil tall no tool which means we will head ringer the evil tall and here is the energy for our own sableye and we also get the team flyer grunt so might as well use that and i will go with the battle compressor and see if we have the head ringer here is uh, the live do and there is the live do excellent stuff and there is the puzzle of time as well look at that look at that we have everything we need right now next turn we could go for the sycamore but for now we will junk hunt for a uh, live do and or maybe just for the puzzles of time why not yeah let's go for that We'll go with the Puzzles of Time. And then we can use these Puzzles of Time, for example, to get the Life Dew and the Battle Compressor or the Team Flag Grunt, even. Um, actually, that might be a pretty good option. Oh no! <laughs> My opponent uses a Crushing Hammer of his own, so he could get back the energy with the Puzzles of Time. 
that's one option. And then a team flag grunt. Uh, yeah, we'll, I think we'll go for that. We'll just stall our opponents, just like he's trying to stall us. We'll play two copies, get back the team flag grunt and the energy. <laughs> so basically, this is uh, nearly a copy of the first turn. And I will junk hunt again for the puzzles. We can play this game too, but we can play it longer than my opponents since we have the junk hunt. So I think our opponent should rather focus on getting another evil tall rather than attaching to the one in the active spot. And it does attach again. Do we see another crushing hammer? And no, we don't. So this time we can do something else. Uh, we get another battle compressor. First, I will use the puzzle of time. I uh, will get back uh, the team flag grunts and a life do now. And then I will attach the life do. Use the team flag grunt, discard another energy. And then battle compressor. So hopefully we can start drawing into some more Sableyes. We'll discard uh, Lysander, Delinquents. And uh, a Super Rod. I think a super rod would be pretty good, or even a shaman maybe. Um, let's see here. A super rod to get back our our sableyes when they got knocked out. At least we have access to the super rod in case that happens. So here we go, junk hunt for the puzzles of time. That's what basically what we will be doing over and over again until the match is done. And as you can tell, if this is a match where we each take 40 turns like this, because my opponent still has 42 cards, uh, it will be a very, very long matchup. Oh, and we draw another puzzle of time. Wow. So this is our tr this is our uh, chance here to uh, perform some magic. Um, I should have maybe gone for a stadium and then I could have used a delinquent. Unfortunately, that is not possible here. So we will go with the battle compressor and another battle compressor. And we'll start battle compressing uh, a stadium, uh, the silent lab, and then. Trick shovels, so we can use the trick shovels. There is another trick shovel. We might as well compress the shaman too, so we have access to the shaman in our discard pile, or even a level ball, so we could get could get another another sableye. There's the level ball, uh, a hammer maybe, or I'll keep the hammers in my, or maybe one, a hammer and. Uh, let's see. Maybe a zero sick. That seems pretty good. There we go. And then we will junk hunt for one puzzle of time because we've got one in our hand. And a trick shovel. Yeah, I think that's uh, a good choice. And with the puzzles of time, we could go for a stadium and a delinquent. And that's an option. So one of the questions right now, if the game keeps going like this, is when will my opponent concede? Oh, and here goes for he goes for a burge. Uh, does get heads? So this might be the time where my opponent gets another evil tall going. Uh, gets a trainer's mail. Do we see another basic? That's the main question I am having right now. VS seeker for. Could only go for a birch and passes a turn, so again, nothing. Wow, and there is the Sableye top deck Sableye. Look at that. So, we will trick shovel and uh, take a look at my opponent's deck. Uh, okay, we'll for sure discard that escape rope, and then we'll go with the puzzle of time. And we will get the stadium and the delinquent and start. I'm discarding some cards from my opponent hand my opponent's hand. So here we go. Stadium Delinquents. Force my opponent to discard three cards. And we can keep doing that over and over if we really want to. Because we will go we will be going for two puzzles of time again with the junk hunts. You are getting 
uh, I think you are getting to know how this deck works right now and you are probably getting to know as well or becoming familiar as to why the matches can be long and can be drawn out as I mentioned in the deck analysis if you watched the deck analysis so there we go what do we see get discarded a Chorus, a Elena and a Tricoin oh, pretty interesting I didn't expect to see Elena I will go with the Puzzles of Time again and I think I will actually go for the Delinquent again depending on if whether or not we see an energy attachment if we do not see an attachment I'll go for the Delinquent one more, one more time there's the VS Seeker for the Burge and Burge for uh, Heads maybe again uh, there, we, there it goes Burge for Heads again wow Two heads in a row. Let's take a look. Two VS Seekers in my opponent's discard pile. Oh no, only one. Oh, he got the Birch with the Trainer's Mail that other turn. And there is a second Evil Tall and a Sableye. So my opponent runs Sableye as well, which means he can get back uh, item cards from the discard pile. Uh, this is not going to be a Sableye standoff, is it now? So he fails the Trainer's Mail. Gets a Max Elixir. And that works for my opponent. So that's Evil Tall on the bench. It is two energies attached, which is pretty scary. Yeah, that is pretty scary, actually. Uh, at least we have another Sableye uh, ready to go. <coughs> Let's see what we can do here. We could go for Crushing Hammers. That's one thing we could do. Or for the trick shovels. I think I'll go with the trick shovels. Uh, for now. Let's start discarding some resources for my opponent. And then we'll use the junk hunt for the puzzles of time again. Let's see here. An unknown, yeah, for sure. I don't want to see my opponent use an unknown. Uh, not interested in seeing that happen. And a Skyla. So we'll go for the Skyla as well. And then I think uh, we will give our opponent... Uh, should we give our opponent some more cards? I think not. We will go with the Sycamore. And can we draw into some hammers? We cannot draw into some hammers. That is pretty unfortunate. So Junk Hunt it is. Junk Hunt for uh, the Puzzles of Time. And now my opponent doesn't need to find a switch somehow. Uh, that's what my opponent needs to look for. A switch. It's an Ultra Ball. Discards. Uh, the Energy Recycler. And an Ultra Ball. And draws into 6 more cards. Excellent. At least he's down to 24 cards now. Uh, that means... We need to discard less cards from my opponent's deck <laughs> with those trick shovels. So our opponent is helping us out a bit, uh, a little bit here. Goes for Skyla. Do we see the switch or the escape rope? I already saw that my opponent plays an escape rope. If he can't find a switch, uh, there is another escape rope indeed. Look at that. That is going to be problematic uh, for us. Um, there will be a knockout on one of on one of the Sableyes on our bench. I will promote the Sableye without an energy attached. Oh, decides to attach to the Sable uh, to the Evil Tall in the active spot. Wow! And there is the escape rope. Escape rope will escape rope into this Sableye without the energy, making it a little bit tougher for my opponent to knock out the Sableye. Oh, and a Max Alexir on. Oh, it fails. Excellent. Uh, that would have been a problem. We could license around that same line. Oh, we are going to license around the Mewtwo for sure here. I think that's what we have to do. License around to that Mewtwo. And let's see here. We could attach a floatstone to the same line. I will use the puzzle of time. Get a Lysander and what else should we get? Maybe a trick shovel again.
Yeah, let's go with that. Nice inner and trick shovel. So we'll trick shovel. Hopefully we can discard an energy. And there we go. We, we do discard an energy. Look at that. Amazing stuff. Um, and I'll go with the light center for the Mewtwo. And then I will put down this stadium. Make it harder for my opponent to retreat to Mewtwo. Now the Mewtwo needs 3 energy instead of 2. And uh, we'll even retreat this Sableye into the one with the Live Dew and a Junk Hunt for the Puzzles of Time. So if somehow this Sableye gets knocked out, we have the Puzzles of Time to go for the Live Dew. This Sableye cannot get the Live Dew attached to it because of the Float Stone, but at least we prevent the knockout for now. And there's the DCE on the Mewtwo. Um, Max Elixir fails again. <laughs> I think some energies are prized for my opponent. But we do see a DCE, which means my opponent probably has four DCEs in a deck. So we need to discard three more. We have the Zero Seek to discard the DCE. Get hit for an X Ball for 60. Uh, so we stay alive once again. Here is a Zero Seek discarding that DCE. Can we get a Headringer maybe? That would be fantastic. And we'll also discard this here energy. So we could license around that evil tall again actually. <laughs> I think we'll do that. Uh, we'll go for a Lysander and a Trick Shovel. Or maybe another Crushing Hammer for that evil tall on the bench. Might as well. We we are nearly at the same amount of cards in our in our decks, so I'll get the line center for the next turn. Here's a crushing hammer for now. It is tails. Oh, that's too bad. So we will junk hunt for the puzzle of time and the puzzle of time. If my opponent cannot get a DCE, we will stay alive. And then we can license around that evil tall EX, uh, for which we discarded an energy. And there is another DCE. Are you kidding me? What a top deck from my opponent. What a top deck. So we'll promote this Sableye. And now it's time to perform the cycle of recycling. Um, the Live Duel as well as some Sableye. So I'll attach this energy. And then I will... Get back in the Live Duel. And a super rod. Where is the super rod? Did I not? Oh, there it is. I thought I did discard or discard the super rod, so we had, so we have access to it. I'm gonna attach the live do and go for that super rod, getting back the sableye into our deck. And I might as well go for an N. I don't mind my opponent having any more cards, or we could go for the licensor. I go for the Lysander now and then end the turn after that. Because uh, I really don't mind my opponent having any more cards. That would speed up the process of decking out my opponent a little bit. And we definitely need to get some Sableye going. so Because we only have two left. We really need a third one, a backup Sableye. But for now my opponent has no way of attacking even if he top decks a DCE. Because this Evil Tile needs a DCE and a... Darkness energy because of the head ringer. All right, so it is time to go for the end, but first we will use the puzzles of time and we'll go with uh, a trick shovel and or maybe even two hammers, discard energies to the evil tall on the bench. I think that's a pretty good choice. We should be able to get one energy discarded with those two hammers. And here is the first energy in the discard pile. <laughs> Can we get a second one? Oh, I feel bad for my opponent. So we got a second one. I feel truly bad. And there we go for the end. And draw into six cards. Oh, we get two Sableyes. Look at that. And we get a Trick Shovel as well on top of that. So we'll go for that. And... Discard that Hoopa. And then it is time to go for a D Junk Hunt once more. 
So while, while our opponent uh, decides what to do, we'll take a look at his discard pile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine energies in his discard pile. Puts down a Malamar, which could put us to sleep uh, if my opponent attaches to the Malamar. And there is a trick coin onto the Malamar. Do we see an attachment? A VS Seeker, okay. And a Skyla. I'm surprised we haven't seen an end from my opponent's side, because that would mess up our strategy. That would bring these puzzles of time back into our deck, so we'd have to search for them again. Skyla 4, maybe another escape rope? But I, I've never seen a deck with more than two escape ropes. Uh, really haven't seen that before. That would really surprise me. Oh, a startling megaphone. A very interesting. Very interesting. Startling megaphone gets rid of the life do. But we can get it back with the puzzle of time. And my opponent should know that right now. Uh, so <laughs> we'll just puzzle of time for the life do. And actually the delinquent because my opponent put down a stadium so he can discard the three cards that he has in his hand with his delinquent and put a lot of pressure on him that way and the next turn we could go for it and again fill up my opponent's hand one more time and bring him even closer to the deck out and slowly but surely we will get there and let's see what my opponent discarded discarded is sycamore lysander and a tricoid so okay time to go <laughs> For the junk, junk hunt, I'm truly really feeling uh, a bit sorry for my opponent at this point. And really astonished, actually, that we are still playing this game. Uh, he hasn't given up yet, because we have been in it for nearly 20 minutes. Wow, and a Headringer. Why not? We'll Headringer and the Evil Tall. Could have Headringer the Mewtwo, but I'm not too scared at this point. And now it is time to Trick Shovel. Because we are uh, under no threat whatsoever, so we will trick shovel and then probably end at some point. Uh, discard that Malamar. Discard whatever comes next. Another Malamar, wow. That's uh, a lot of Malamars in my opponent's deck. And Junk Hunt for the puzzles. And just like that, it's 9 versus 15 cards. 9 versus 15, so we are definitely in the advantage. A crushing hammer from my opponent fails and passes the turn. And there is an energy anyways. Uh, I will attach that energy. Go for the trick shovel. And we will... Deck out our opponent. We are nearly there. Uh, in the next turn, if we end, I think we are on only one card away from decking out my opponent. Maybe we are actually there uh, next turn. Let's see. We are down to... Our opponent is down to six cards after this. And then... Draws into a card now. So if he plays this card down and then we end next turn, then we have one. Because my opponent will draw into six cards. And yes, uh, there he goes. He concedes we could not pull off the final end for the win. That would have been hilarious. Uh, ending my opponent to zero cards. Wow, that was a, a pretty good showcase, I think, of the power of Sableye and a very good showcase of how the matches can take a long time and you need to be careful in what you decide to do because if you make a misstep, it can be an opportunity for your opponents to come back. Uh, so let's see here, MVP non, heads flipped for, we are definitely flipped a lot of heads, but my opponent as well, look, 8 heads and 2 tails total in this game. And zero damage, but we still managed to take the game. I think uh, we should find ourselves one more final opponent. And our final opponent is Tap. 1129. Tap. With a. Oh, a very nice coin. A very, very nice. Gyarados. Bloody, bloody Gyarados. Red Gyarados. And my opponent does start off first. And we get the Sableye. Again, without the energy, but we might be able to top deck it. We have a crushing hammer. Uh, oh, look at that. That's a lot of energies. See Curlias, Collipede. Uh, and we have the Team Flag Grunt to discard whatever energy my opponent attaches 
in the first turn and <laughs> we top deck the energy what what is this that's insane we only run six energies and we top deck an energy wow i feel really lucky right now oh a hoopa Look, oh i did not expect a hoopa in a deck with the rolls i am very curious now i'm very curious hoopa <laughs> hoopa fails uh, okay uh, that's curious. And there's the attachment to the rounds. We'll go with the crushing hammer first. We get two crushing hammers. Uh, okay, so we can keep this one in our hands as well as the team flag grunt. We'll attach a darkness energies. We'll discard. Uh, you can guess it. The puzzles. The puzzles. Discard the puzzles. And life do if it is not prized. Life do is prized. The live do is prized. Uh, wow. Okay, that's going to be tough. Well, I mean, it's going to be tougher. We can definitely still pull this off. Because Sableye was a good deck before as well. But... Uh, well, it is a good deck. Or it's a deck that can win without live do. But it is quite tough. Ah, uh, yeah, that sucks. So... We'll discard one more puzzle. And let's see here. A super hot, so we can get back Sableyes. Yeah, wow, the life do is prized. That's a, a bit of a bummer. Then we'll go with the Ultra Ball, get a Shaman. I have put a Headringer on the Hoopa. We could license around the Hoopa and stall our opponent that way, because it does have a 2 retreat cost. Here is a Trubbish. Do you want to put down the Trubbish? That's the question. I keep it in my hand for now and I'll go for a Junk Hunt for the puzzles. But yeah, without the Live Do, uh, we didn't need the Live Do in a previous game actually. I don't think, because we never got knocked out. So it's definitely possible to pull off games uh, with Sableye without the live do, but most of the time you kind of do need it uh, at some point. Because uh, it's not always uh, that it... Oh, we get ends, so the puzzles will disappear from our hand. And that's what I was talking about last game. If we would have got ends, that would have messed up our strategy. But it's okay, we do have something useful, a trick shovel. We get it for a tiptoe step, uh, which does not do any damage. Uh, kicking it back, a... Uh, oh, we didn't discard Team Flag Grunt. Uh, shucks. Okay, well, we'll have to Trick Shovel then. Trick Shovel my opponent's deck. Discard an energy. First energy in a discard pile. Can we get another in a discard pile? Uh, a Shauna, that's okay. Let's take a look. Oh, two energies in a discard pile, actually. And then, um, I'll go with the Sycamore for now. I'm not too scared of the Curlia. And here is a Crushing Hammer. Um, it is Tails, unfortunately. And a Trick Shovel for a Heart Charm. Let's see. What could we get back here? I think I'll go for the Crushing Hammers. Junk Hunt for the Crushing Hammers. For now, we have a VS Seeker in our hand, so there's no need to go for a VS Seeker. We could VS Seeker for the Lysander if our Crushing Hammers fail. That's definitely a possibility. But yeah, we need to make sure our opponent does not attack us. We don't have Live Do and another N. So my opponent is making use of his ends very much uh, this game. We get end in a pretty bad hand, actually. Pretty, pretty bad. So we need to find our, our crushing hammers or a team flag grunt. That, that's what we need to find. We need to stop our opponent from doing any damage to us because we don't have life do. We could at some point knock out my opponent's Pokemon with a, a laser, maybe. That could be a possibility. And another tiptoe step, tip step for my opponent. So we get a Sycamore... Um, Huh. 
Yeah, this is a bit tough here. What do we do? I'm going to go for the Lysander. The Lysander out that Hoopa. And hopefully stall that way. I don't want to see the Sableyes get knocked out. Because my, my opponent only needs to knock out 6 Sableye. And that's done pretty quickly. So we will get back a Hammer and a Trick Shovel. I think that's pretty good. That way we can start hammering. We have all the hammers in our deck right now. So we should be able to get rid of some energies. And catch up with my opponent's uh, attachments. Because we failed to get rid of energies uh, previous turns. And there is an attachment to the Hoopa. So I think my opponent will try and retreat to the Hoopa. If we, if we could get out the stadium, that would be excellent. The stadium with the Aqua Team Aqua's base. And Tails on the hammer. No, that's not good. Not good at all. We'll take a look at my opponent's deck. Oh, an energy. Yes, I like to see that. And uh, we will have to discard this. Hopefully, we can draw into some hammers. And here is a hammer. Can we... Another Tails. Are you kidding me? Well... Um. Huh. I'll put down. I'll use hypnotoxic laser. Maybe I can put the hoopa to sleep. Uh, yes, I can. Hopefully, he stays asleep. And uh, we'll end our turn for now. Next turn, we have the team flyer gun to work with. Oh, I didn't junk hunt. Are you kidding me? I didn't junk hunt. I forgot to junk hunt. I forgot to junk hunt. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. I forgot to junk hunt. That is really terrible. Oh no. Oh no. How many hammers do we have left in our deck? Two. I'll go with the team flag grunts. And then, yeah, I'm going to go for the Junk Hunt now, <laughs> if only I had gone for the Junk Hunt previous turn. I'll get back these. We still have a VS Seeker for a Lysander if my opponent retreats the Hoopa. Can Lysander it out again. We really need the Team Aqua's base if we have it in our deck. Didn't look for it. And there is the attachment for the retreat. We will see the retreat into the Curlia. So far we haven't been knocked out yet. And there is a Lysander for the Shaman. That's okay. We have a Flowstone on the Shaman. For that very reason. And a Tiptoe Step. So nothing much happened there actually. So we will retreat the Shaman into the Sableye. And we'll go for the Crushing Hammers here. Tails... Uh, Unlike previous game, we are not having a lot of luck with the crushing hammers. My goodness. Not a lot of luck at all. So we'll go for another Lysander. I think that's the best we can do here. Lysander back out at Hoopa. And get these crushing hammers back into our hands. We really want to get rid of my opponent's energy as much as we can here. As much as we can. I wonder where the Glades are. are <laughs> Look, I talked about it and there is the Glades. Uh, do we see an attachment? Do we see an attachment? We need the heads on the hammers. And my opponent concedes the match. Oh, wow, wow, wow. So even without the live do, uh, we managed to take the game and stall my opponents. My opponent must have been frustrated that we licensed out that Hoopa once more. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, I think this actually was a pretty good showcase again, except for me for getting to Junk Hunt. That was pretty dumb, I must admit. That was pretty dumb, but I'm blaming it on being sick. I'm blaming it on not being able to think all that clearly, because I've got a bit of a headache going on. But anyways, I think we should find ourselves one more final match. And the last match of the day is against Toma Salves 2 with a Psychic deck. Okay, so let's see whether or not Psychic can defeat Darkness. Uh, while we go for heads, <laughs> we flip tails. We go second. 
Hopefully, we can start off with the Sableye. One more time. One more time. And there it is, Sableye. My goodness, this hand looks exactly like the hand from one of our previous game, I think. Or um, uh, maybe I'm confused, but yeah, this looks very similar. Maybe we top deck that energy again. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Let's see. We are facing what kind of Pokemon? Hopefully not a Mewtwo EX. Uh, oh, we top deck a Trick Shovel. Oh, a Toolbox Sigilif. This is a Toolbox deck. That's going to be interesting. Hopefully we can hit the Hammer for Heads this time, unlike last game. Uh, lots of tools become attached, so we will actually want to get out the, pardon me, the Garbodor now. Shut off that toolbox ability. That's what we want to do this day, this game. Get out that Garbodor. Uh, we'll go with the hammer first. And uh, yes, we discard that energy. At least there's that. And now we'll go with the trick shovel. Check out my opponent's deck and discard one more energy. Why the heck not? And uh, we'll go with the uh, Sycamore. I have that Tatic too. I'm not sure if I know what you mean by Tatic. Uh, what is a Tatic, my friend? Uh, I'm very curious. I don't know what a Tatic is. So we'll go for another Sableye. Or, or we'll go for the Trubbish, actually. At least we have the Trubbish. I should have taken a look at my deck if we had the Garbodor. I forgot. Otherwise, this Trubbish is pointless. Uh, we definitely should have taken a look at whether or not the um, the what's it called the I'll actually go for a level ball or maybe the floatstone actually I'll go for the floatstone whether or not the live do is in our deck <laughs> yeah we should have done that while I used the level ball so right now we have two crushing hammers that should be sufficient to get rid of any energy that my opponent attaches we have an energy ourselves oh and we get end we get end. That is a big end. Uh, let's see if we can get a decent hand. Uh, I would say so. Look at that. We have the Garbodor. We have a level ball to get the Jirachi for a Sycamore. We have also a Team Flag Grunt. But if we use a Sycamore, we can't use a Team Flag Grunt. And as we retreat into the Trubbish, it will need. A Dimension Valley, it fails to get out the Dimension Valley, my opponent fails to get it out. Can we shut off the ability though? That's the question. We really need to shut it off this this turn. Um, we have another Trubbish. I will discard these two, because my opponent didn't attach an energy. And then I'll go with the Sableye. We have a Level Ball in our hand to get a Sycamore. So we'll go with the Sableye, and then we'll discard some cards here. Let's see, what can we discard? Where is the Live Do? Do we have the Live Do? There's the Live Do, and Puzzle of Time. Do we have a Puzzle of Time in our discard pile? We do. So one more is enough. And we can also get rid of a Super Rod. Yeah, I think we can do that. Super Rod, get rid of that. That's pretty good, I think. And then we'll go with the uh, Jirachi. Jirachi for hopefully a Sycamore. Yes, I for sure would like to take a look at my deck. And there is the Sycamore. And now we need to hope we can either get a Stadium, the Silent Lab, or uh, the Floatstone. Uh, we don't get either of them. We don't get. Oh, here is the Stadium. Uh, there is the Stadium. Which shuts off my opponent's ability, so my opponent needs to discard at least two tools because of the abilities being shut off. We have a second energy, uh, as well as this Hypnotoxic Laser, might as well use it. Tails, ah, oh, darn it, would have been nice to see heads. We'll discard a Float Stone, and we'll discard something else maybe another tool a oh, dimension valley excellent excellent stuff there and then it's time to junk hunt for the puzzles of time 
Yep, that's what we are going to do. If we get end again, we will have to dig for the puzzles of time one more time. Hopefully we do not get end this turn. I think all of our trick shovels are in the discard pile. And here is this uh, Dimension Valley. So this can be a knockout, only Sableye, if my opponent... And there is the N as well, so we won't be able to get the life do. Oh, wow, that is big. That is big. There's one one puzzle of time. Maybe we could get a second one. Maybe not. A floatstone on the... On the... City Leaf. We really need the floatstone on our Garbodor. That's what we really need. Shut off those abilities from the CG lifts, and we really need that life do. Oh wow! So my opponent has taken one prize now. One prize has been taken. What do we top deck? Oh. I can't risk uh, that. Sableye getting knocked out without having a backup one, so we really need to go for. This Sableye. And I think we'll have to go for a Sycamore. Or maybe an N. He says the Hypnotoxic Laser is a waste of space. Uh, I beg to defer. It is a pretty great card against a a, a Mirror match. Uh, against a Mirror, si mirror Sableye matchup. It is definitely a pretty great card against that. So... Uh, I think my opponent does not know that. I might type it in the chat uh, after my turn here. So here is the floatstone. At least that shuts off those abilities. And I will go with the puzzle of time and get a life do and a hammer. I think that's pretty great. I want to get rid of that energy. There's the life do. Here's the hammer. Yes, there we go. We, we get rid of that annoying energy. I will go with the puzzles of time once more. And I will type to my opponent. Uh, it is for the mirror match. Because if you have a mirror match, uh, you really... Uh, need to try and get rid of your opponent's Sableye and that's only possible with a Hypnotoxic Laser otherwise you cannot knock out your opponent's Sableye. And there are some more some more rubbish. Maybe I should have countered the Stadium. Maybe I should have done that instead of the Hammer. That might have been a better bet. I kind of regret it now. There's the Lysander for oh, the Garbodor. That will be a knockout on the Garbodor. We will promote this Sableye with the Life Do. And then we, we shall actually get back the Garbodor. The Trubbish actually. And an Energy. Uh, we can get back the Garbodor later on. And let's see, we shall Puzzle of Time. For a team flag runt and the stadium. Where is the stadium? The silent lab. There it is. So next turn, my opponent needs a dimension valley and um, <coughs> excuse me, and an energy to be able to do something. Here we go, we will junk hunt for the puzzles of time. Do I have more puzzles of time? I don't think I have extra puzzles of time for up for trade at the moment. I think, uh, I'm not sure, I'll have to see if I have any more, any more copies of it. So there is the energy, do we see this stadium? That's the real question here, Sycamore. For seven, so it is very likely we will see the stadium at some point. I can't imagine my opponent playing only two stadiums. A fighting fury belt, a hard charm, another hard charm. Uh, it doesn't seem like we'll be seeing a stadium. 
level ball for what would my opponent level ball for? I'm not sure. Uh, even a bike. Uh, so my opponent sending out his deck and helping us uh, in some way. I did. I, w I would like want to get rid of that Jirachi X. That's a big target on our bench. Uh, so this <laughs> we will actually get a prize here. This Trebuchet is going to get knocked out. Look at that. We will get a prize. My goodness. That's amazing. Do we have the AZ? Yes, we do have the AZ in our discard pile. So I'll go for a hammer. And... Where is the hammer? Here is the hammer and an AZ. And get rid of that Jirachi. So it is not a target that my opponent can abuse. Crushing hammer. Yes, uh, excellent stuff here. My god, that was excellent. Uh, gets uh, that Jirachi in our hands, and then we will junk hunt for Puzzle of Time and Puzzle of Time. And I will answer my opponent. I forgot to answer. I, I talked about it uh, again uh, to you, but I forgot to answer my opponent. I don't think so. I have. I have to look. And there, oh, we get a delinquent. Uh, unfortunately, I want to keep the stadium in play. Yes, I will see. I will see if I remember. Thomas Salves 2. Thomas Salves 2. Thomas Salves 2. Thomas Salves 2. Uh, okay, I will try to remember. Okay, so another tool, and just like that, my opponent's down to 10 cards, which means we can start trick shoveling. Uh, we, oh, we will see the knockout here on the Sableye. Tool drop for a ton of damage, 150, but we had the life to attach. We really need another Sableye right now, as well as a stadium. Um, I'll get back the life do and uh, the stadium maybe yeah I'll get back the stadium I think that's our safest bet right now getting back that stadium and then attaching this life do and then we will go for the end maybe Or I could have got rid of the stadium with the delinquent actually. Ah, but I want to use the end anyways, just so I can hopefully get another save light. But I don't, which is uh, not very good here. That's not very good at all. Definitely, definitely not good. So we'll junk hunt, and we will junk hunt for one puzzle of time and a level ball with which we can get another save light. Because uh, this rubbish uh, will knock us out most likely. I think my opponent has the energy. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my opponent has more energy. There is the energy. So we'll get knocked out. And there is the end. Oh no. Hopefully we can get our puzzles back. Or a Sableye or an energy. We do get a Sableye. There's a bicycle for one card. Oh my, this is uh, those ends are messing us up big time, big time, messing us up big time here. Oh my goodness, um, we we'll go with crushing hammer heads, yes. And we'll go with the level ball. Get we only have one save line left, and my opponent concedes the match. What? Can you believe it? Oh, oh pardon me. Uh, wow, I'm not sure why. That's kind of sad, actually. I was hoping to see how that would have played out because we were in. Okay, we, we had the team flag run. We had the team flag run, so let's theorize here. We had the team flag run. We could have played the team flag run 
and that would have gotten rid of all of the energy on the Trubbish, meaning it would need two more or one energy and a stadium. So I am guessing that my opponent conceded because we ran him out of energy. I think my opponent only played like seven or maybe eight, maybe eight energy in his deck and we had already gotten rid of five before discarding the energies to the Trubbish. If we discarded those two energies to the Trubbish, that would have been seven. So that's nearly, I think, all of the energy in my opponent's deck and that's why he just, uh, well, conceded, I think. But yeah, we only had one Sableye left. So it would have it would have been pretty close. We still had definitely definitely had a chance, but yeah, that was. Uh, I would have loved to see how that would have ended uh, if my opponent would have conceded. But I think like this is one of the advantages of Sableye, because uh, your opponent just sometimes concedes and you don't always know why, but. Is it because they were frustrated or is it really because you ran them out of their resources? Which I think is actually what happened here. I think we ran our opponent out of his resources just in time here. Just in time. So that end that messed us up actually allowed us to win the game because our opponent conceded after discarding that energy. So yeah, and that will be it for today's episode. I think today is a pretty long episode as I said at the start because of the... Yeah, the long matches, uh, Sableye, that's what it does. Uh, it's uh, If you want to quickly go up the versus ladder, Sableye is not your best pick here. It, it's guaranteed long matches unless your opponent concedes early on. But that will be it for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. Uh, I, a lot of recording time went into this because I had to scrap some recordings. Well, my opponent conceded halfway through the match as well, and there's not much of a point including those recordings, you know, because what's the point in watching them if your opponent just concedes halfway through, then where does the tension go, you know? Anyways, uh, subscribe to my channel for more deck ideas like this, for more silly deck ideas, and for more fun deck ideas. I hope you have a carptistic day, I hope you are not sick, I hope that you will never be sick, sick, being sick sucks big time. Uh, I will see you next time. Uh, here we go. He did he did respond to the request. We are facing Arna Boy 11 with a Psychic, a Colorless and a Water Deck. This is going to be interesting. At least there's that. We won't get item lock right away. We do have the Poison. Hopefully we can counter the stadium. We get a trick shovel. I will use a trick shovel. Hopefully we can discard the DCE. That will be hilarious. Oh, computer search. I should have attached this flowstone actually now that I think about it to the Trubbish. Because the Toad is going to um, item lock us. Yeah, there we go. I forgot, completely forgot. I should have attached the flowstone there. And that was not a good idea of me not to attach it. And we won't be able to use, to use the hammers. Hopefully we can get end into a zero seek. And uh, no zero seek for us. Let's get some more bats going. Uh, not a laser. That means the Sableye will go down this turn. We only have three Sableyes left. I'm pretty sure my opponent will put that on the Sableyes on the bench. Yes, indeed. He does put it on the Sableye on the bench. And Quaking Punch for the knockout. At least uh, this toad is nearly done for. It's nearly there. Two mo one more turn for us uh, and then one more for my opponent and the toad will go down.